Hey guys, number two, pillow talk. <laughs> so you guys have asked, do we talk with our children about what we do? About working around dead people, working around the death care. Huh? So what is like, does your son ask about what you do? What does he? No, he, I mean, he knows what I do. Uh, he's 14 now, but when he was heck seven or eight, I started taking him once in a while out on funeral setups at the graveside with me. And he's been out to a handful of them. Um, and a couple of them have been like honor guard funerals. He thinks that's cool. Um, like he's, with the military Yep, with the military honors. Stuff. Thinks that's neat. Um, he's been to the crematory with me and seen what I do and how it all works. And honestly, he has <laughs> zero to little interest <laughs> and really doesn't care. It's just, I mean, I think he's been around it and heard about it since he was born. You know, or could comprehend, and it's just yeah. no big deal to him. And so, no, he doesn't really make a big deal of it. He doesn't. It's not a big deal to him. Well, and my girls have been around going to the funeral home and seeing people in caskets and dead bodies since they were mm -hmm. little, crawling, crawling through the chapels while I'm getting people set up and stuff. And recently, um, his son's great grandma died. And me and my girls went to the the visitation or the funeral, and he was like, have they ever seen dead bodies? And I was like, oh, 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 oh yeah. we're good. Um, I mean, we left there, and we went to the funeral home to go grab some stuff for me. And just on that trip, they saw five people, I think, yeah. uh, including a baby. And because we work, walk through the care center, and they'll see people on tables waiting to get dressed or waiting to get their hair and makeup done. Yep. They're not in the prep. They're not in the embalming room. No. You know, they're not exposed to that. They're not in the illegal of that. But the girls see a lot and they do, they ask questions. They know that it's not the coolest job to have. Right. That there's something not embarrassing, but not as super cool about their mom being a mortician so i'm like you know focus on the fact that mom has a youtube just tell people she's a youtuber and that part's cool but they're exposed to way more than other kids then, and yeah than, than most kids are for sure and i don't realize that i don't think i don't think i realize that there are people who get to the age of 20 and have never seen a dead body. They've never gone to a funeral. They've never been exposed. And my kids under 10 have probably seen at least 100 dead bodies. Yeah. They've gone to, you know, probably 10 to 15 visitations and funerals of people that we've known. Because we just take them and we expose them. So... And to me, I mean, I've always talked to my boy about it, even though, like I said, I think that's kind of why he's just kind of like, eh, it's just a matter of fact to him because it's, you know, the death's part of life, life's part of death. It's, it's all kind of intertwined, and that's the reality of the world you're living in. And, yeah, I mean, I just, I think kids that are raised like our kids have been are more at ease with it than a lot of people i think they can not that they're cold to it but i just think they have a realistic view of it and and can wrap their head around it a little better i think yeah i think we have a different perspective than the majority by far yeah. and that gets passed on to the kids yep but they definitely have uh, exposure and a little bit of slap of reality of what happens after the fact. Yep. So, bye guys. See ya.